Hello there, welcome to my day 4 in Hawaii vlog. We're starting off the day with some breakfast at Aloha Kitchen. I thought it would be a nice idea to take all the kids to go out and eat breakfast without the parents. So we got the order of omelets, waffle, pancakes, and loco moco. We waited about 20 minutes before getting seated, but you know what? Overall, the food quality and service lived up to the hype on Yelp. Afterwards, we met up with the parents near the Waikiki Beach Mall. And look at what I found at the food court. This is Penny's Malasadas. I know some people say that Leonardo's Bakery makes the best malasadas. I don't know about that because I never had it, but this one wow. here has that light, fluffy texture with a slightly crispy exterior. We got three different fillings, coconut cream, ube, and the special flavor of the day is mango. That was a delicious snack. Now it's time for us to head out and explore. For today's adventure, we're heading to Koala Ranch, which is a good 40 minute drive from Waikiki Beach. Do you guys see that island? Doesn't it look like a hat? Well, its nickname is Chinaman's Hat, or the Hawaiian name is Mokali. Such a cute little island. Although it's raining today, I quite like it. The fog gives the landscape a really cool and mysterious vibe, almost like a scene from a movie. The first thing I did was go and check in the tickets. We had a good 15 minutes before our tour started. It was sprinkling a little bit and plus it smelled like a farm outside. So it's best to stay inside the souvenir shop and explore a little bit while you wait. They also have a small food court and my family ended up getting coffee, guava ice cream, acai bowl, and an order of chicken rice plate to share. The tour has started and the bottom picture is how our tour bus looks like. Looks like it's kind of messy. So hang up your hats like it's a, this is all remnants of that hurricane and it's supposed to get like gusty up to like 40 miles an hour so just hang up to whatever. Uh, there was no windows on the bus but at least it stopped raining however the seats were still wet but it makes this tour that much funner. And right now we're going to the World War II bunkers built in 1943. Inside this bunker, you will see posters that show TV and movie productions filmed at this ranch. In the rest of the bunker, you will also find movie props that were used in movies that were left behind as this play now. Back on the bus we go! Look at this stunning ocean view! And we also had a few more stops to take pictures of the sceneries. This picture here is Godzilla's footprint. This is Kong Skull Island. Before heading to our next spot, I thought it'd be nice to have a little picnic, so let's go grab some food. We are at Adela's Country Eatery. Really well known for their avocado and ube noodles, winner of the World Noodle Festival. Look at their wall and all the award winnings. I'm excited to try their food. This is the entrance of Ho Mahia Botanical Garden. This spot right here went totally viral on social media. That's why you'll see signs that say no car stopping or taking pictures. But if you really want, you can come before the park opens to cars to take your pictures. This place is free entrance and offers so many more beautiful spots. You can even go hiking here. But yeah, we kept driving until we found a place that we can park and that have tables for us to eat. They're ready to dive into their food. Of course, we got their famous ube pasta with add-on seafood. Plus the avocado pasta with add-on crispy pork. Ugh, with their crispy pork crispy. The max $20 the yeah. portion is really reasonable, but wow, their in-house made noodles. You can taste the unique flavors like the ube and avocado, and the texture is smooth and a little bit chewy, which is perfect paired with the creamy sauce that I got for the ube noodles. I'm not really sure where we're going, but we kept driving down to explore the park. Not sure how far we went because this place is like 20 miles down, but we found a place to stop and take some pictures. My parents showed me these plants and they call it shy plants in Chinese, but in English they're actually called mimosa puticas or you can call them sensitive plants. So these plants are so cute. When you touch them, the leaves will close. 
After taking some pictures, we drove back to the stay and changed into swimwear for some beach time. It was kinda late by the time we finished, so we just grabbed some food from the food trucks and called it a night. Aloha! What a beautiful, sunny, but at the same time super windy morning. This is our last day in Hawaii. It's almost 12, so let's grab some lunch. We are eating at Momosan Waikiki. What a great location right next to the shopping mall and the beach. Taking a look at the menu, the first thing that caught my attention was the ramen. The all-star ramen bowl is for the meat lovers and I had to get that for my dad. I got my mom noodles as well, the dipping noodles, and look at appetizers. I got the short ribs and the soft shell crab. We also got a bowl of the spicy tan tan ramen. Overall, the food was good, service and vibe was excellent. The price of ramen was like 20 30 a bowl, but I wouldn't mind eating here again. After lunch, we did a little shopping and I got myself these cute sunnies from Tiffany. When you're walking around Waikiki Beach, it is impossible to miss this little hut that sells shaved ice. This place has a long line like all the time. Okay, this place is actually really good. I do recommend you guys trying this out. It's Island Vintage Shaved Ice. We had shaved ice, it was around 1.40 p.m. and during this clip, it was already 7, so we had a good like 5 hours at the beach already. We're heading back to our Airbnb and we came across this place in a basement. It's a Japanese food court which reminds me so much of Ramen Street inside of Tokyo Station in Japan. We bought some small snacks here and finished up whatever food that was back at our stay since it was our last night. Our flight was pretty early, the flight in total to back to sack is 5 to 6 hours. We're back home now, home sweet home. That was a memorable Hawaii trip with the family and friends. It was a lot of people and hard to plan, but I'm sure that everybody will remember this fun trip. You're super impatient and like to unpack everything like ASAP. We got lots of snacks as you can see in the background as souvenirs for our families and friends. <laughs> Yes. I got some beauty products at a Japanese beauty store in Hawaii. These are underarm whitening products and also some eye patches for eye bags and these face masks, which are the best selling in Japan right now, so I'm so excited to try them out. This is the painting that I got from Do Plantation. I'm so glad that it made it home safely with us. I think it'll look really nice on my bathroom wall. That's it for the Hawaii trip. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.